I'm Drake Brunswick. I'm here with Landon Town for an interview today about wrestling. Landon, what weight do you wrestle at? Uh, Drake, I wrestle at uh, 152 pounds currently. So far, how have you done this season, personally? Um, oh goodness. At the beginning of the season, I wrestled 160, which is uh, kind of a tough weight class, you know. Right. There were some kids that I could battle against and win, but, you know, most kids were uh, kind of a step above me. Um, I, I lost a lot at 160, to be honest. I, I did make a lot of mistakes, uh, rookie mistakes that I shouldn't have made, and I mean, those really got me uh, the whole match just lost, like uh, one mistake uh, costing the whole match. But so far in the past couple of weeks, I've been peaking at 152 pounds. Uh, there's, there's good competition for me, and I'm also putting up good competition against other people instead of uh, like the 160 pounders coming and just manhandling me or something like that. All right. But it's been pretty good. How did the team do at the last meet? Oh, the last meet uh, was the Southwest Conference meet here in McCook. Uh, it was it was a good meet for the McCook kids. Uh, Mason Bales, Trevor Felber, Carson Richards, Tate Felber, um, myself, uh, Cody Hahn, and, and Caleb Taylor, and I think Hunter Cunningham placed. So it was pretty good. Me and Caleb were in the championship round which was even better. Uh, we don't see a lot of meets, you know, where McCook kids get to, to place in, you know, seven different weight classes. You know, when we place kids that many times in a meet, you know, that says something, you know, we wrestled either really good or there was really bad wrestlers there. But the Southwest Conference is full of some pretty good wrestlers in class C and B, so. Right. That's great. How do you feel you did person that you said you got into the championship round? Is that a yeah, big achievement did. for you? That is a big achievement for me. That's the first time I've been in the championship round at a tournament. I'm my whole high school career, besides JV. JV was like every meet, but the step up from JV and varsity is crazy. So I, I mean, I, I felt like I did great. I beat the number three seed the first match I had. Uh, kid from Ainsworth, 17 and 4. So I came in that meet and I think he was underestimating me a little bit and so I came out and I think I pinned him in the second. And then I faced the number two seed uh, from Valentine. And I overtime went against him. It was crazy. I had to beat the ref too because I had the guy on the edge of the mat and I had him on his back, you know, the ref didn't mm -hmm. give me my back points. I had him on the edge of the mat, I had him takedown and the kid uh, kind of just circled around me. I knew I was out of bounds though, but the ref still gave the kid a reversal point. Yeah. And so I beat the ref out of that match too. And then the championship match, I did get pinned in the first. It was off of my mistake. I, man, I wish I could take that back against the number one seed kid from Broken Bow really good. Yeah. So it was fun. So you said sometimes our wrestle is really good and sometimes the competition doesn't look great. How do you feel the competition was then? Like you said, the Southwest Conference has some good teams. What are some of the better teams and some uh, of the teams that are From the Southwest threat? Conference, it's definitely uh, Cozad. Cozad is a really good team. They're uh, in our district, so obviously they're going to compete against us. They're yeah. going to come in to wrestle uh, instead of just lollygag, you know, kind of dance around. Uh, Valentine is another one. Valentine is crazy at wrestling. Uh, every year, I think they have at least <laughs> A couple of state champs, I mean, a couple of state medalists. Every kid pretty much on their team goes to state. I mean, they have a great wrestling program. Some of their coaches were uh, national, uh, one of their coaches was a national champ, I think, in college. I don't know for what college, but it's very good. Um, and also Broken Bow. Broken Bow has like, oh, tons of kids uh, that are just ready to wrestle, ready to fight. And uh, like I said, I lost to a Broken Bow kid for the championship round. Uh, they, they're pretty good in Class C. I think they're ranked number two, right behind Valentine, actually. So they put on a fight, and also Ogallala. I don't know if Ogallala is more of a com competitive team for every other kid. I know that the wrestler they have at my weight is a very competitive kid. He likes to compete and uh, definitely goes after the win every single match. And so I'll have him at districts because Ogallala is a district team, you know. They're also they're they're just coming out to win, and we got to do the same.
All right, what do you think you could improve on from the last beat here? From the last beat, honestly, I could improve on a, improve on a couple things, as in uh, my position on the mat, you know, when people head snap me, you know, I'll tend to step, and uh, I just need to uh, learn to, you know, not uh, get in positions where uh, the opponent can uh, either shoot on my legs or, you know, uh, arm drag me, I mean, get me out of position. I mean, position is a very important part. And uh, I got out of position a lot of times against uh, the Valentine kid, which could have put me in some very bad positions uh, for him to score off of. Uh, which, but thankfully I was a little lucky and got out of those positions before he could score. But it was mostly the championship round against the Broken Bow kid. Uh, I got in on a high C and I should have switched off to a dub. It was the greatest mistake. Oh, I, I hated it because I should have switched off the, to the double and took him down. I would have had the first takedown, first two points of the match against, you know, number one ranked kid at 152 in class C. You know, it was really good competition. But instead, I came back and I tripped him and pushed him forward. And he used my momentum coming after him to get my two points. Mm -hmm. He used that momentum to kind of just toss me. Yeah. And uh, I got to learn to, you know, not uh, pressure forward too much to the point where they can use that as their advantage. Uh, I think that's uh, something I can improve on, but that's about it, honestly. Just be smart and go out there, go for the win. All right, so what are your goals for the rest of the season? With districts and the state remaining. Yeah, that's those are the only two meets remaining. Uh, state only for some people. Districts, I'm going in there. Uh, losing record, man. It's it's uh, the seedings are not going to look good for me. But I'm coming out there, guns blazing, man. Uh, I might have to face you know a couple good kids in the first couple rounds mm -hmm. because of uh, my record. Yeah. And, you know, I want kids to underestimate me. I want them to look at my record and say, man, this kid's not that good because I'll come out there and I'll surprise you. And uh, I did just that Southwest Conference and uh, dual me actually a couple weeks ago. So, I mean, I, I, uh, I want to go to state. That's my main goal pretty much for the whole season. Uh, I, I would have liked to uh, place in you know every tournament and everything, but that stuff just doesn't happen. I'd love to go to state. This and that's now my goal. Uh, but in order to go to state, I have to place top four in districts, which there are uh, tough, tough kids at 152 pounds at, at districts for me. So I just gotta come out there, you know, and wrestle. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Lennon. That concludes our interview from Bison TV. Thank you. Thank you, Drake, for having me here.